almost in December, and so I thought, what better time to talk about the books that I read in October? Okay, so to get started, I read in October, I read all of four books, I listened to three, finished one actual physical book, but I also started four other books and read a good chunk in all of those four books. So we'll get started with the books that I listened to in October. And the first book that I listened to was Beyond This Moment by Tamara Alexander. This is the second book in the Timber Ridge Reflection series. And this book is definitely by far one of my favorite books of all of hers. I just love the story of Molly and James, who are the two main characters in this story. Molly, who is a was a professor in college, she taught romance language, yeah, romance languages. And because of some choices and things that she that she did, she was required, requested to leave her station, and she has moved out to Colorado to teach at this little country school in Timber Ridge where James is the sheriff of Timber Ridge and Molly is trying to put her life back together. She is trying to overcome these mistakes that she has made and she makes choices that she wouldn't necessarily have made before but she doesn't see a way past those mistakes and James who he knows that he reads people really well and he knows that Molly is hiding something and it is their story of them building this friendship that is just really wonderful and them learning to kind of trust each other and lay down um, their lives and James who you know putting aside what he's always thought and Molly seeing that even though you make mistakes in life, that it doesn't mean that you can't ever have good things in your life. And so I just love the story. It's, a, it's an excellent story of grace, of redemption, of renewal, of new life, of friendship, and love. It's so amazing. So amazing. So highly recommend Beyond This Moment. I would say first read um, From a Distance because it will make this story and then the next one I'm getting ready to talk about even richer. So that is Beyond This Moment by Tamir Alexander. Whew. Okay, and then the second book that I listened to and finished in October is Within My Heart by Tamara Alexander. This is the third and final book in the Timber Ridge Reflection series. And this book follows Rachel Boyd, who you meet in the very first book, From a Distance, and you get a lot of her backstory in the first two. So once you get to this one, you know kind of where she's coming from. She is a widow. Her husband... Um, died several years before this and she is struggling to keep their ranch afloat and also raising two young boys and she is trying to make a good home for them but she is struggling and you really feel her struggle and then you have Rand, Br Rand um, Braxton Brookston, sorry, Rand, Dr. Rand Brookston, he is the doctor in Timber Ridge, and he really wants to be a part of something. He wants to be a part of something that is good. And so you have Rachel and Rand, they come together in um, a tragic moment, and they are forced to push through together to overcome and to see something through that I don't want to give it away because it, it is a pretty big plot point and it is their story of friendship and Rachel learning to trust someone that she doesn't really want to trust and seeing that she may have misjudged him and maybe she should give someone a chance. I think this is a great end to the series. I think that um, Tamara Alexander does a great job of really giving you great depth to um, some characters, especially Rachel, and I think she did that because she introduced her so soon, so when things get resolved in Rachel's lives, when events happen and you see her coming, overcoming them, it makes more sense because you know, you know her just a little bit better than you would in this little book here. So, highly recommend the entire Timber Ridge series. I think it's one of my favorite of her series so far. I love the characters, I love the setting, and it's just fantastic. So, that is Within My Heart by Tamara Alexander. Okay, and then the last book that I listened to is another Tamara Alexander book and that is A Lasting Impression and this is the very first this is the first book in the Belmont 
Mansion historical fiction series. Belmont Mansion is an actual place, place, place in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Adelicia Ackland, who is the was the proprietor of the Belmont Mansion. And I love the historical aspect of this story. First and foremost, it's set in Tennessee. It's set in um, right after the um, Civil War, so you have a very worn, torn country, you have people that are trying to to rebuild their lives, you have not just people, but you have a nation and a city that are trying to rebuild their lives after such a horrific event in their history. And then you have the people of the story. You first have Claire, who is a young woman who wants nothing more than to have a new life. She wants nothing more to have a fresh start and to paint her own stuff to leave a, an impression on the world through her eyes. And then you have Sutton Monroe who is a lawyer and he's also the one that is in charge of helping Adelicia run her household. And so Sutton and Claire's pass across and it's their story of building a friendship and possibly more than that and Claire trying to put her past aside and also Sutton trying to move past what the war has done to him and his family. And it's just a great story. I love the historical aspect as I've, as I've already said. I think that's my favorite part of the story. I love how Tamara has described the place and it makes me want to go and visit the Belmont Mansion. And that was the last book that I listened to, A Lasting Impression by Tamara Alexander. And it is a great book. I don't think I did it justice of what it's about, but it's a great great book. Okay, and then the last book that I finished in October, I actually did read this one. I did not listen to it, and that is The Order of the Phoenix by J.K. Rowling, the fifth book in the Harry Potter series. I really enjoyed rereading this book. I did have apprehensions going into it because I just remember not liking it particularly that much. It's definitely, it's still definitely my least favorite of the series. I and I, I attribute it mostly to, before, I attribute it to the fact that Harry's very emo, he's so just, so 15, really, and dealing with things that he probably shouldn't have to deal with, and then you have Umbridge, who is just, she's just a horrible human being, she's just terrible. But the things that I didn't like about this book, reading it now, in my, you know, early 30s, opposed to my mid-early 20s, I didn't like the characters that you're supposed to like. I found Dumbledore to be very irresponsible and not looking out for Harry the way he should. The fact that he assigned Snape to teach Harry occlumency, when he did that, I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Because, you know, Dumbledore knows the animosity and the feelings that both Snape and Harry have for one another. And it's just, it's just disaster waiting to happen. And the reasons why he said this is a very important that you learn this particular, um, this particular part of magic. And it's really important. And I just feel like, if it's really important, you wouldn't have chosen someone that you knew was not going to have Harry's best interest. And and then there's just, I don't know, I just felt like Dumbledore just did not act the way that he should. He did not protect Harry. He really kind of used Harry to his own benefit. And yeah, I just, I blame Dumbledore for a lot of the things that happened, that happened wrong in this book. And it just, it was an interesting take. I yeah, and the ending, I feel, it, it broke me more than it did when I first read it. I, it just, I always just, I hate the ending of this book more than I hate the ending of the sixth and the seventh book. I just, it's, I just, yeah, it, oh, it, it was, it was good. I really enjoyed this book a lot more than I thought I was going to. I just think it's crazy how different my mind how differently I, I am seeing these books than I did when I first read them. So, yeah, so it was enjoyable. Uh, it was very enjoyable. I'm enjoying rereading this series. So that was The Order of Phoenix by J.K. Rowling, the fifth book in the Harry Potter series. Okay, and then to talk, just to kind of briefly give you an idea of what else I read in October, because 
Okay, Order of the Phoenix is almost, is like 850 pages long, so it's a big chunker of a book. And then I started A Hopeless Romantic by Harriet Evans, and I read about 200 pages in this book, 250 pages in this book. And then I also started, after reading The Order of the Phoenix, I, I started the Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and I got about halfway through this one, which is about 300 ish pages and then I started two other books that I read about 40 pages in both of those so I read quite a quite a lot of pages I just didn't finish a lot of books because I somehow for some reason I decided to start so many books that I yeah at the end of by the end of the month I was like okay I need to focus on one book and so that's what I did okay those are the books that I read in October as I said, November is almost over. I'm looking forward to talking about the books that I read in November because some of them, I just have a lot of feelings about them. So I'm looking forward to talking about them. And yes, which that'll happen in a couple weeks because November's almost over. It's crazy. It's crazy. So let me know down below some of the things that you've been reading that maybe if you've read reread something that you're like, I am seeing it in a completely new way. I would love to hear that. And as always, guys, I hope you're having a great reading month, and I will see you on the flip side. Bye! Bye! I made it through this video. This has been a rough one. A rough one. Maybe because it's midnight, and I shouldn't be making a video. But I couldn't waste the made-up face.